uh, phi one, which is we still we're still doing linear equations, by the way. Okay, so this is a continuation of uh, chapter two. Uh, you would notice that there's a lot of similarities between chapter two and chapter five. So now we're using the second book, which is volume two, uh, on that week. So we're gonna bring the volume two book with us. Okay, so we're skipping three and four. We're leaving three and four till next uh, term. Now go ahead and see what's going on here. You wanna you wanna estimate solutions by inspection. This is exactly what we did in chapter two. That exact one we already did this. So we're gonna probably spend one day on it, and that's maximum. Now you could see there's a two line here. I showed you this before. If they cross at one point, that means there's only one solution. So this solution, you know, will be acceptable for this line and this line. So they have the same answer for both of the lines. So that's why we say there's only one solution. Now look at those two lines, are, those are parallel, they will never cross each other. So any two lines that parallel, that will never cross each other, that means they have no solution, nothing in common between them. They're not going to accept, you know, they have the same slope, but they will never have the same point, okay? So they will never, never, ever have the same point. Okay, guys, so the last one is when you have two lines on top of each other. So then it's not easy to show the difference. But this is a line that's called x plus y equals negative 2. And it's in the same time, it's another line on top of it. Definitely, you cannot see that. Uh, it's 3x plus 3y equals negative 6. Okay. But if you divide this by 3 and divide this by 3 and divide this by 3, you're going to end up with x plus y equals negative 2. So it will be exactly the same. So those two lines on top of each other, that's what we call, we call it. Uh, this this solution has a many solutions or infinitely many solutions, right? So that's exactly what we did in chapter two. N completely, there's no difference. There's nothing extra than what we did before. Okay, so let's go ahead and move to the next section. Next section, okay, this is something we're gonna do, which is graphing the the, the system itself. So we need to know how to graph uh, a line on uh, and x and y coordinates. So for example, here they draw a line that represents two equations. One of them is 0.25x plus 70, and the other one is y equals 0.2x plus 75. Now, the 70 and 75 is, this is the points are for 70 and 75. So notice that the green line is a little bit higher than the, the blue line, so because this value here, 75, represent what we call the y-intercept. So 75 definitely is higher than 70. Now you can see this one. Now, this is in, in class will be easier. So we'll do them in class. So don't worry about it. Okay. And definitely we're going to be doing this also in chapter two. All right. So by chapter two, you'll probably, you, you have no problem with section one and two in chapter five. Now, chapter uh, 5.3 and 5.4, no, they're going to be something new for you guys. So we spend most majority of the time on that on those two sections. Okay, guys. So this is another another equation that we're going to be graphing. You can see that this is the remember the number here and at the end represent the y-intercept, right? So let's go ahead and 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 stop here. And then, like I said, this week we're going to be we're going to be doing more things. So we're going to also introduce later on. The solving systems by substitution. This is the most important thing. So you're going to be using it till all the way. So you're going to be this. You're going to use this in, in college. So this is very important. We need to know how to do this. The substitution and elimination for 5.4 would be something called uh, elimination. So this is a new thing for you guys. I'll probably try to mention it while we're in chapter two. So this way you'll have it ready by the time you get to chapter five. Okay, guys. So that's it. Talk to you later. Bye bye.